Finding the perfect size envelope for your special project can be especially daunting if you don't have something like an envelope punch board. Today, I'm going to show you how to use basic craft materials to make a 6x6 envelope for your special project. Let's get crafting. So I made this cute 6x6 card um, a few videos ago, and I'm going to use a standard 8.5 by 11 inch paper. And on the eight and a half inch side, I'm going to score at one inch and at seven and a half inches. Turn your cardstock to the 11 inch side. And this time we're going to make one score line at six and a half inches. With all of the scoring complete, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to use a bone folder. But if you don't have a bone folder, you could use um, a palette knife or even a butter knife to get good creases. So we want to crease and burnish all of the scores that we completed. The next step is to cut off the two shorter ends. So I'm going to be using a pair of Tim Holtz nine and a half inch titanium shears, and I'm going to go right up to that next score line, but I'm not going to cut off the end straight. I'm going to slightly angle towards my cut both sides. So here we go. We're going to cut straight up. And when I get to the crossroads, I'm just going to angle it and cut downward. Now for this flap, we're just going to go to the opposite side and angle cut from the top down. To complete the base of our card, we're going to fold our tabs in and fold the bottom towards the top. Now we're going to use some um, tape runner here. You could use double sided adhesive, but you don't want to put it on the tabs. You want to put it on the flap at the bottom because as you see, the tabs are higher and you would end up gluing something that you don't want to glue. Go ahead and burnish your glue or tape runner down to the flaps and you'll see that the six by six card fits perfectly. Now we just have to make the top flap. The second sheet of cardstock, this one happens to be a scrap. I am going to cut it to six and a half by five. And you'll see that this is a scrap because I'm actually going to even it up. And there we go. We have one more score to do. So with my scoreboard, I'm going to line it up with the five inch side and score at three inches and go ahead and burnish that edge down. I left this part in because I want you to see the method to the madness. The flap is just slightly larger than the card base. They're still cut the same, but because of that fold, it changes it up just a little bit. So we're gonna bring the trimmer back in and we're going to slice off just a sliver on one side so it doesn't matter which side um, but you want it to be on the five inch side either left or right and we're going to check it again and it's still not quite right so we're going to take off yet again just a smidgen of cardstock and you can see that's hardly measurable but it makes a world of difference once i can make my fingers work to getting that card flap inside so that it will lay flat inside the card. To adhere this permanently into the card base, we're gonna take the flap out, fold the bottom flap upward, and we're going to go ahead and add some adhesive. Now I'm using a scrapbook.com double-sided adhesive tape that I'm going to be able to do in two swipes. If I used my tape runner, it will work, but the tape runner is a much narrower strip of tape and it would take a lot more tape runner. Two strips of this and I'm done. While liquid glue would work, I don't suggest it because you don't want the liquid glue to get onto your project or to glue your envelope shut altogether. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the backer from the double sided tape as I fight with it here. And I'm thinking, how am I going to get this in without it sticking all over the place? But I've got to take off the 
the paper so that I can actually maneuver it in there. This becomes a little bit of a struggle, but I found a fix. So let's wait for it. Oh, this is almost painful. Okay, so I get it in there and then I realize mm, it's not straight. So I'm actually pulling it apart at this point and I've removed it. However, going back to removing the tape, I just put the tape on the opposite direction so that they kind of have tails. And then that allows the sides to slide in. And I'm gonna go ahead and line it up with the opening in the back, burnish it, and pull out the flaps. Easy peasy. That worked amazing. So all I did was remove those two strips and turn them the other direction, and voila, here we go. This was fantastic. Now, a little finisher, not necessary, but certainly you can, is I used a corner rounder, and we're done. A beautiful six by six envelope. So tell me in the comments below, what size card you typically make and do you want a template for an envelope with a liner that you can make at home without any additional equipment? But wait, there's more. Since we finished the inside of the card, let's finish the inside of the envelope by creating a liner. Now you'll see that I use this polka dotted paper as well as an extra bunny on the inside of my card. So I've got an extra sheet of that speckled paper and we're going to use that for the inside liner. Okay, so the liner is going to be cut at six and one quarter inches by four and three quarter inches. We're going to score along the top of the four and three quarter inch side at two inches. With the liner, we're going to put the wider side into the card base at this point, and then we're going to line up our score lines. So we're going to line up the score line with exactly the spot where the card folds. And in this case, I forgot the corner chomper. It's not necessary, but if you want that finished look to match the edge of your envelope flap, then go ahead and do it. So uh, a quick chomp chomp, and I'm back in business. Okay, so I've lined that up and watch how simple this is. I'm just going to use tape runner on the short flap there. Couple of swip swaps and away we go. Fold the top flap down and you've got a beautifully lined card or envelope. And I've left myself enough space to use double sided tape so that I can seal my envelope and uh, it's kind of perfect. And I have one other finishing touch before we finish up this card. It's in there, it's got enough space, it's beautiful, and I saved a bunny, this time a yellow bunny, to go on the outside of my card. And I'm just going to adhere that with some liquid glue. This is going to be hand delivered. Uh, here in the U.S., they charge us more for um, mailing a square card. So I typically don't make square cards because of that, especially if I know I'm going to mail them. But this one's going to be hand delivered. So I figured, uh, you know, bling it up a little bit. So my bunny's got a cute little, a cute little bow tie. And I've left enough room to address my envelope. Have you checked out my digital store? I'll leave the link in the description box below. There are a couple of freebies over there, so head on over and get yours for a limited time. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos, and here I've listed a few extra that I think you'll love. See you real soon.